Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're glad you're here. Today, we've got a treat for you. It's the new 2018 Xmark Quest S Zero Turn Mower. If you're thinking about an Xmark, watch this video. Stick with us. One of the reasons we're so excited about this new Xmark is Xmark has really, really stepped up their residential zero turn mower game. They have incorporated a lot of the design of their commercial mowers into the residential models now, and it's a huge difference. And you can definitely see that between the 2017 and the 2018 models of this Quest S series, or just the Quest series. Let me bring you in here for a closer look and I'll tell you some of the differences and we'll go over the features of this gorgeous lawnmower and I'll tell you how it's performed in the first couple hours uh, on the meter of owning it. The first thing that you can see on this that's a huge difference from the 2017 model and actually sets it apart from a lot of the other big box store or residential mowers is the girth, the bigness, the hugeness of these uh, tube steel uh, outriggers here for the spindles for the front tires and just the frame itself you know this is the part of the front front frame here and it's at least two and a half inch uh, tube steel it is massive and it is thick everything on here is really really heavy gauge steel and you're going to notice that right away when you look at this compared to the 17 models uh, this is going to hold up a whole ton better on some fairly rough terrain on a large estate style residential uh, homestead or you know property and that's why we were excited for this model right here this new quest s let's take you around a little bit closer and we'll talk about uh, the newer features on this mower okay so not only we talked about the heaviness the heavy duty nature of the frame here but we're going to talk about these front spindles look at this and these front forks this is at least quarter inch steel which i believe is seven gauge uh machinists correct me if i'm wrong we've got these huge 13 inch front tires now that is a commercial size and also we've got 20 inches in the back now these are a little a little bit smaller in commercial but definitely bigger than the 18s you're going to find on your big box store residentials we've got a large for residential uh 2.9 gallon you'll obviously fit three in there uh gallon gas tank with this massive look at this size of this opening easy open easy access uh gas cap and gas tank right here we've got this gorgeous high back seat now this is much much nicer it's gonna cradle your back a little bit more this is the one they put on their lower end commercial uh, mowers it doesn't have suspension that'll that'll come with the higher price commercial mowers we have got a very nice easily accessible hour meter here which is much different than what it was on the 2017 model the 2017 model had a small hour gauge way back here integrated into the frame next to the engine that's not very helpful at all so we've got big uh, paddle style um, throttle and uh, choke here your pto engagement and what we've also got that's uh, a feature of a commercial mower is this gorgeous foot assist uh, pedal for raising and lowering the deck. We've got our gauge here for raising and lowering the deck. We go from one and a half inches to four and a half inches in cut height on this one. We have a very nice adjustable seat, which is very cool. Let's see, as we walk around a little bit more, you can see this X mark. 708 cc 24 and a half horsepower uh, proprietary engine now when i talked to the uh, dealer about this you know i 
I was looking for Kohler or Kawasaki. Both have good reputations. A lot of people like Kawasaki better. And I said, well, I wasn't very sure about this. And he ensured me that this Xmark um, engine here is uh, under full warranty, obviously. And they've had very, very, very few uh, performance problems with them. But what he told me that was very interesting is this Xmark engine is a reverse engineered Kawasaki. So I don't know if that's common knowledge or if that's supposed to get out there, or he just told me that as a selling point. I really don't have any idea. If you have better information, let me know in the comment section below. But he said this was a reversed uh, engineered Kawasaki engine. Now, if Xmark's going to put their name on it, they're preferred two to one over the uh, next uh, brand of commercial mower. If they're going to put their name on it, I'm going to assume that it's probably pretty great. All right, we've got a pair of serviceable, if you can see under there, they're serviceable uh, Hydrotrans uh, 2800s um, for the transmissions, the hydraulic transmissions for each uh, tire. We've got this really cool, easy, um, empty, I guess you could say, uh, easily serviceable um, oil. Uh, outlet here to change your oil. You just undo this tube from, uh, you just pull it down here off the top of this little spindle that it's on. Pull it out and drain it out off the sides. It's a really long hose, which is nice, which uh, a lot of those other residential mowers, they're a pain in the butt to change the oil. Let's talk about this 50 inch cutting deck here. This thing is the Xmark quality cutting deck and it is made from 10 gauge welded it's, fa it's a fabricated non-stamp deck x uh, x mark wouldn't do that but this is a uh, 10 gauge fairly thick uh, steel and it's got this extra little uh, welded steel lip on the edge here to combat you know hitting rocks or stumps and so you don't bend the front of this this deck here. It's all got some huge uh, front uh, wheels here for your deck and it's actually got three of them. If you could see that one, oh, let's, there we go. We can see that one in the middle here. Most decks just have two. This one's got three to ride on, which is really fantastic. Now let's talk about a couple of features I actually don't like about it and that's very few and they do not outweigh the good for this, okay? So I'm going to show you something here in the back with the engine. All right, or actually the exhaust. So you see we've got our rear exhaust right here. And you see underneath it, there's nothing. And I'll show you what that does, actually. If you let your mower hang out for any period of time, that's going to happen. And if you can see it, that's gonna happen. I let the mower stand there for a minute or two and it completely burnt the grass out because there is no heat shield on that rear uh, exhaust or underneath the rear exhaust. I might put something on there myself because you can't let them, you gotta shut the mower off um, because if you're doing a nice lawn, if you're gonna use this for uh, a commercial application, you, you got to shut it off or else you're going to burn the grass out wherever you let it sit. And that's not going to make for a very happy customer. And that's not making me very happy if I let it stand. But I'll just shut it off or I'll put my own heat shield on it. Okay. Uh, the only th other thing I don't like about it, and it's also no big deal, is Xmark always does this. You see this little window here. This is uh, to view your level of gas in the gas tank on the side there and it's a little hard you, you can't really see it unless you stop the mower stand up or lean way over and look to see how much gas you have left even my cheap uh, or old cheap John Deere right there um, had a low fuel light that would just light up here so X mark if you're listening just add that it's super simple just add that to the side and it'll make Happy, happy customers. Now, another really nice thing on this mower deck is the way it cuts. 
Now, Xmark is known for the way their decks cut, a very clean cut, and the way the baffles are designed underneath, and just the way the deck is uh, designed, they're known for that. But I have to say, what I love about this, and there's a big difference from those uh, big box store residential mowers, is there's no blowout from the front of the deck. So underneath the front deck, it's not blowing out and coming back into your face, which is a huge problem with some of the other ones. And this one, you know, if I hit a huge gopher mound, just a big pile of dirt in the middle of the lawn, I will get a little bit of splash, but it will shoot it straight out the side and I hardly get any dirt in my face. So that's a huge, huge plus for me. And last but not least, a three year residential warranty. How cool is that? This is essentially a low end commercial grade mower and you get to take advantage of a three year residential warranty on it. That is fantastic. You just take it into uh, your local Xmark dealer. They'll take care of business. Three year. I, I absolutely love that. Some of the other mowers I looked at were two year. Some were three, but uh, I really felt really great about the quality of this. Now, also I want to talk about the time it takes me to cut this grass. Now we cut the grass for several reasons here on the homestead. And one of those is to keep snakes away. Uh, second reason, keep ticks away. And uh, keep those basically to keep the critters back from our living space on the homestead. And I think that's really important. I brush hog the rest of it. So I mow just over four acres of our almost eight acres of land. And that is right on the edge of what uh, this was made to do. And at seven miles an hour, man, I get it done so quick. That is unbelievable speed for a residential mower. The John Deere that I had, it could be quick at times, but it took me twice as long, honestly twice as long uh, to cut the grass <laughs> as this X mark. I was flabbergasted the first time I used it and I was really, really, really excited because that gives me more time to do other stuff here, which is a lot of other stuff, as you other homesteaders know. So if you're thinking about a new zero turn for your property, whatever size it may be, I say up to about four or five acres uh, with this Quest S, make sure you go get an X mark. This thing has been unbelievable so far. I'm so happy with it. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you liked the review of this X mark Quest S, the 2018. Now make sure it's 2018, the 2017s aren't made for this size uh, a property and they're much smaller uh, in terms of their construction quality. Uh, although you get that X mark quality, they're much smaller, okay? So make sure it's 2018. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Like and subscribe, that's huge for our channel. We want you here all the time. We're excited to have you here watching this video and we want you to be here on a permanent basis. So. Go down there, hit the subscribe button, and you have to hit the notification bell after that because the way the new YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit that notification bell, you're not gonna know when we have a new video coming out. So do that, share it on social media. We thank you so much, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.